Hello, so I'm taking my video um, of the supposed new RV that was rented to me. Um, I will start from the exterior, beginning uh, from the front, working my way to the back. Uh, so first, um, what you can see uh, very clearly, um, basically UV damage, um, not a big deal to this cover. Um, we'll take this off, but obviously you would not expect that on a new vehicle. Same with the battery. Um, however, the battery uh, does not hold the charge. Uh, the battery is completely dead, needs to be replaced. Uh, let me walk my way around. Um, first, what you'll see all, this is the um, uh, port side leveling jack. This one is not too bad, um, but it is a bit banged up. Um, working my way back, you can see the awning here. This one in the front is actually in good shape. As I work my way back, you can see the tire did blow out uh, just as I was pulling um, home down my street. Uh, most concerning though is the awning here, you can see, um, is absolutely not safe um, to be driven on the road. Uh, this, what can happen is um, these can fall off if they get caught up in the wind and um, God forbid if that falls uh, that would be a huge problem. The rear leveling jack you can see is in very poor condition. Uh, it's unusable. Uh, I tried to lower it. It is bent, twisted. This is from multiple times of damage. Um, this did not happen in a single uh, event. Uh, so this one is not um, able to level the trailer properly. Moving my way to the back of the trailer. Um, looks pretty good. Not too bad. Um, you can see there's some tape here on this cover. Uh, obviously not new uh, by any means. Um, looking at the um, sewer control system, it looks fine. Uh, this jack, uh, as far as loving goes, that one looks okay as well. Problem here, this is the electric input. This is extremely important. It doesn't sit right. Um, it doesn't connect correctly. Um, that may or may not be part of the uh, electrical issues that I'm facing. Um, I would need to um, test that further. I don't have the tools with me right now. The cover here, this uh, blew off uh, when driving. That should not happen. Um, these covers, um, I just put some simple tape there uh, just as a <clears throat> quick fix. Again, you can see this jack has been damaged as well. Nearly, um, nearly 45 degrees. Uh, this jack is also unusable. Uh, so what's happening is it creates therefore 50% of the leveling is unusable, which makes the trailer very unstable, especially in high winds. Um, so you can see there uh, exactly what has happened. Let's move to the inside of the trailer. <clears throat> so first, the door did not work. Um, I fixed that myself. Uh, I am actually very handy. The door um, wasn't set right, so I had some free time. I set that right, so it's actually working perfectly now. Um, but moving in, um, first, the uh, control system. I was unable to drain the tanks, of course, because of the tire blowout. Uh, my plan was to um, drive to a uh, dump station, empty the tanks, and then return the vehicle. Uh, obviously, that is no longer uh, possible. You can see there's a massive uh, stain or some sort of damage there. Again, not new. 
you would not expect that in a new vehicle. The stairs are also significantly scuffed. <clears throat> As I work my way toward the back of the vehicle, looking at the kitchen, you can see that there's some sort of glue. Um, I don't know what it is, some sort of adhesive that's stuck. Uh, I've not been able to get that out. Uh, moving back toward um, the rear of the vehicle, you can see uh, some scratches here and there. The doors are scratched. Um, not a huge deal. Um, what is concerning, though, is the um, shower uh, was completely unusable. Uh, so I was not able to have um, air conditioning um, because the generator did not work. Uh, the battery did not hold the charge, nor was I able to have any sort of shower. Um, the um, uh, Louvre seems to be okay. Honestly, I didn't use it much. Uh, there's some sort of light in here. This doesn't work. You can see completely broken. Um, it would be uh, probably quite dark in here and very dangerous uh, if it's wet, if you were to slip, uh, especially considering I was alone. Uh, if I were to slip in there, um, that would be a very dangerous um, situation. Um, second... Um, what you'll see is, uh, the screens are all damaged. Um, they are all bent and do not hold their position. Uh, I put some just cheap tape I had here, but what happened, um, of course in the desert with just a tiny gap means that you get all kinds of critters. Scorpions, very deadly, dangerous, uh, flies mosquitoes it makes sleeping in the camper if it if you were able to sleep in a 150 degree camper um with the mosquitoes um and flies nearly impossible you can see the table here is significantly damaged uh again you would not expect to see that on a new camper uh we have significant um scratches on these pull out doors uh what i've noticed is they come shooting open um, as you drive. Um, so the biggest concern though is this screen not being able to work and letting in all of the flies uh, simply makes it uninhabitable. Uh, so I will show you uh, the generator. Um, I'm actually very handy. I know how these things work. Um, I've built and rebuilt uh, Evan Rood's um, Harley Davidson engines. They're very simple. This one's actually quite nice. It's a dual fuel monitor or set up uh, by Champion. Uh, the way that this works, you plug in one end to the RV. Can you hold this, please? And just cap 